Hello, my name is JQ. I'm a makeup artist for the film and television industry. And today I'm going to be doing a beauty character makeup. Start by prepping your actor's hair. Uh, today my model actor will be wearing a wig and so I have braided her hair and left the front pieces out accordingly to what I want to do in order to style the wig. I'm prepping my actor's skin for the types of foundation that I'm going to be using today and that includes eye creams and I like to take my eye cream and spread it around the nostrils a little bit in the nasal labial area. Make sure that your actor's lips are moisturized while you're doing the rest of your makeup no matter which step you're starting with that way they soak up as much as they can in the interim. So since this is a character makeup and I want this character to have very defined features, I am actually adding thickness and small brush strokes to the brow in layers back and forth in order to get a strong dark brow on my blonde model. Here I am applying eyeshadow primer and my first dusting of color. I am going to be making the skin of this character just a shade or two fairer than my model because my model has a lot of pink and red in her skin and so I am doing everything in this process to get rid of the ruddiness in her skin so I'm also doing that into her eyeshadow. I'm taking taking away any color, any pink that I see in her eyelid. I don't want to see the rosiness that she has naturally. Again, this is a character makeup, so things like neutralizing reds or purples around the eye um, can change everything about a character. Here I'm starting this very bold eyeliner with a pencil so that I can get the shape that I want and the thickness that I want. My model has a very large eyelid, and so there is space to do some very dramatic makeup on it, um, and can be easy to overdo as well. So I'm just going back and forth with my MAC engraved PowerPoint pencil, making sure that her wing is at 45 degrees and that it's not making her eye look like it's drooping down. She does have a naturally hooded, sad, downward eye that gives her a precious moments look at times. So I'm lifting that by doing this type of liner and this thick of a liner still keeps that sexy, heavy Jessica Rabbit lid look. My model has a lot of pink on her face, so anything that I can do with the eyeshadow, the uh, brow color, the foundation, the skin prep, to neutralize that red and that pink, I'm going to do. Here I've taken a fan brush to her lashes because she has very blonde lashes, especially at the root. And a big pet peeve of mine is to see people with blonde or red hair and black mascara and you can see the root closest to their eyelid is still blonde or red so I made sure to color that all in before I used the mascara one to bring out the lash. I'm using a water-based foundation and I'm just going back and forth over her skin to try to create the correct tone that I want for this character. I like to layer blush and foundation depending, so I will add blush as I go. I'm lining her lips with a muted brick red, almost mauve 
to kill the highlight of her natural lip, which is very prominent, before applying the lip color that I desire. I'm gonna be layering this lip color, powder lipstick, powder lipstick. It is a cream lipstick, just a regular cream lip color by Julie Hewitt, her beautiful lipstick line. Um, and I just go over it several times and seal the face with a sealer once I'm done. The wig I'm using on my actor has been pre-styled and is ready to go so that it can just be popped on and pinned down. You want to make sure that you get the proportions right to the actor's body and the costume that they're wearing and there you go. There's our vixen. Thank you for watching. Any questions or comments, DM me. See you on the next drop.